uh, as a whole, I'm a huge Sunbelt fan. Uh, I've always been. I thought they've treated us very well. They treated you and I very well, too. They gave us media credentials. So shout out to the Sunbelt. Um, Commissioner Keith Gill walked out to Rapper's Delight last week. As I approached the podium, my walk-up music, Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang, filled the room. I was seven years old when this song first dropped, and I thought it was amazing. Rapper's Delight sampled a little Curtis Blow, combined a little funk, and some hip hop. Hearing this iconic song today brings back wonderful childhood memories and reminds me of the value and importance and impact of music. Every time I hear the song, it brings a smile to my face and makes me want to rise. A perfect anthem for Sunbelt Football Media Day. And essentially pushed out their new campaign as an entire conference called Sunbelt is Rising. Ladies and gentlemen, the power of a word. The anticipation, the adrenaline, the hair on the back of their necks rising. The crowd, the score rising. Greatness rising. The sun rising. Sometimes a word is best left all by itself. The Sun Belt Conference, 14 universities, 10 states rising. And the main theme of this is that everything is trending upward. As you were saying, the CFB, national rankings, you know, the, the Sun Belt, it felt like has put in all their chips and has gone like, hey, we're next one up. Like, not even next one up. Like, we've proven ourselves on a national scale, you know? Uh, yeah. And I, a couple of years ago, I made the point that the ACC outside of Clemson and Miami was kind of a group of five conference, to be completely honest with you. And now you look at where we're at now with UCF moving to the Big 12. Uh, BYU moving the Big 12, Houston. So now there is that kind of hole where the Conference USA, Conference America used to be. And I think the Sun Belt is uh, primed to fill that void. 